Greetings, everyone. Wherever you are in the world, I wish you a good morning, good afternoon, or a good evening. I am Martina Severo, Oracle Card Reader, Astrologer, Certified Infinite Possibilities Coach, and Founder and Creator of Finding Treasure, The Journey Home. These are some of the things that I have done and that I do, but I am so much more than that, and I am always learning, growing, and evolving. I am a truth seeker, a humble servant, a perpetual student, an optimist who tries to find the treasure in the challenges, a spiritual being having a human experience, a fellow journeyer on the way home. I am so grateful that you are here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'd like to talk about that fork in the road that we talked about on March the 17th. In case you missed it, you may want to check it out. Well, Thursday, March the 28th, I saw a sign Literally, I was stopping by a store and I saw this huge billboard that was about a local organization looking for volunteers. And the sign said, call Melissa now. I saw it and just let it go. Then later that day, I was watching TV and one of our local news personalities was doing her around town segment where she interviews someone and lo and behold... It was about that organization, and she was interviewing Melissa. No joke. The whole experience reminds me of last year when I needed to get a new combination boiler system and wanted to get a second quote and didn't know who to call. I was out for a walk and saw a van at a neighbor's house with the business sign on the side, a business that I was unfamiliar with. When I got home, I looked them up and gave them a call. The owner came to give me an estimate, and lo and behold, he was an apprentice with the team who had installed the original system back in 2017. And now, he's the owner of his own business and came with his apprentice to install my new system. Full circle moment. That was too funny. I'm still amazed by it. I'm so grateful that my guides led me to him. This is one of the ways my angels, guides, spirit, God, the universe, creator, communicate with me, especially when they want my attention. Well, they outdid themselves this time. So back to Thursday. Two signs in one day, something I couldn't ignore. I could. After all, I wasn't looking to get involved with anything, and my life is already full. However, I must say that every day I ask my team to bring to me all those who they want me to serve. I certainly wasn't expecting this, though. And you're not going to believe this. I went out the next day because I really wanted to get a picture of the billboard I saw on Thursday, and it wasn't there. I even retraced Thursday's route when I was driving home. Not there. Crews must have been out working to change billboards. I did see some scaffolding still in place. My angels definitely have a sense of humor. A friend of mine said, wow, I think the angels are telling you that you got the message and don't need to see it anymore. I've since discovered that that billboard had been up for months. I finally noticed it on the last day. I also discovered that that around town segment that I saw was actually aired three weeks earlier. I obviously missed it the first time, and my angels were making sure that I saw the replay. Too funny. And I checked out the organization's YouTube channel, and the latest video that they posted two months ago was titled Journey Home Volunteer Today. Let that message be any clearer? <laughs> so they have a program called Journey Home. My business is called Finding Treasure, The Journey Home. Too many synchronicities, 
too many signs. In talking with a friend about this organization and why now, especially when I'm trying to focus on myself and taking care of my health, I had an aha moment. With this volunteer opportunity, I'm learning to set my own boundaries, identifying what I'm willing to do and what I'm not willing to do. Much different from the fixer-upper, caretaker, people-pleaser, saying yes to everything, putting others first person that I've always been in the past. It's not so much actually the volunteering that's important as it is the journey. Talking with Melissa, going through the process, standing in my power, knowing my needs, knowing what I'm able to give, seeing if there's room for compromise. And if not, it's okay. It's all about the journey. I need to go with the flow to check things out. And yes, I have contacted Melissa. The journey home. I don't know where all of this will lead, but I'm suspecting that my YouTube channel and my small business will be seeing some changes. Right now, I feel that it's important to take a step back from some parts of my business. I will continue to share things on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and my website, but Oracle card readings, infinite possibilities coaching, and astrology readings will not be available at this time. I'm not sure how often or what I'll be posting here on YouTube, but I welcome the journey. I will follow inspiration and will post when it feels right. Inspired. In spirit. An exciting time. To all my friends, followers, and subscribers, I thank you for your support. It is an honor to be of service in whatever way I can. I invite you to stay tuned. It's important that we listen to our own heart, our own intuition. Signs and messages are all around us and come in many forms. They could be a verse in a song, a movie that we see, something that we read in a book, a podcast, a YouTube video, a person who touches our life no matter how briefly, part of a conversation that we hear, a thought that pops into our head, a memory, a scent that reminds us of something or someone, a bird, a feather, a rainbow, a cloud formation, coin, numbers, a dream. They can also be something that comes to us in different forms to get our attention, like it often does with me because I miss it the first time. They can even be like a soft whisper on a gentle breeze. Signs can be messages from our angels, guides, or loved ones in spirit. They can also be answers to our questions or prayers. Let us ask to have the eyes to see and the heart to know. Look for your signs and synchronicities. There are no coincidences. Trust spirit. Then come back and let us know your experiences, your aha moments. We'd love to hear from you. What you share may be exactly what someone else needs to hear and help them to recognize and affirm their own signs. Fork in the road. What do we need to do? Make a conscious decision. Choose, knowing that we cannot make a wrong choice. Whatever path we choose, we will have a rich and meaningful experience. We are not alone. God, Spirit, our higher power is our guide and walks with us on our journey. Let us honor the decisions that we make. May they be the best decisions that we can make at any given time, standing in our power and experiencing life to its fullest. We are safe and protected, healed and whole. We are precious and adored and loved beyond all measure. We are love. We are one. We are home. Joy, love, peace, fun, laughter, abundance, all these blessings are truly ours. There is so much to experience and we are so worthy. May we receive these blessings with an open mind, open hands, and an open heart. Sending you so much love. I send you more than enough. May you be blessed with everything you need 
and so much more. I wish you and yours peace, joy, love, and lots of laughter in the days, weeks, and months ahead. Namaste.